and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some stony lux. Gonna be our next meme tier Monday deck. This deck is built around Detain as well as Lux and Mage Seekers casting six mana spells. All right, so what we got here is we got Stony Suppressor to make all of our spells cost one more. And usually you want to play Stony Suppressor in a deck that you're not playing very many spells so that your opponent's deck or your opponent's spells cost one more. But we are actually using it to enable our own spells to cost one more because we want Detain to cost six mana. Because we want six mana spells. Because with Lux, Lux needs to see you cast six plus mana worth of spells to start getting you some final sparks. This is going to be a deck completely built around Detain, but so it's Detain and Mage Seeker Investigator creating Detains. But Mage Seeker Investigator need, again needs to see you play that six plus cost spell, and that's kind of hard to do. And so, uh, like the kind of like the easy thing is like, well, why not just make Detain cost six plus cost? mana <laughs> so that therefore we can do it so that's what stony suppressor is in here for so yeah we're going to be an all-in detain deck we got our three detains our three investigators for more detains we are playing passage unearned for the combo that with detain right like we detain one of their things then they kill our stuff to get their unit back but then we, we will passage unearned so they don't get their unit back so it's gone forever that's right. <laughs> That's a, the person that made the deck want to use detain with passage unearned. But then we also have purify, right? So we can detain behind, you know, like behind our investigator and then purify your own follower. And so therefore it doesn't, it doesn't have them detained anymore and it's gone forever. So we have those two combinations with detain. Uh, besides that, we have concerted strike for another removal spell that could cost six mana with with help of the stony suppressor also a spirit journey spirit journey can just do a whole lot of different stuff you can use it as protection for like your lux or your garen again if we have the stony suppressor this could cost six mana you can also um kill your opponent's unit revive it like maybe they're attacking they put like a bunch of pump spells on their unit you kill it and revive it and then you don't take the damage but you can also do that with passage unearned right you can combo these two together spirit journey passage unearned and obliterate their unit. I don't know, there's just there's just a lot of like utility to this card. We can do a lot of things with it. We can um, kill our own Mage Seeker Investigator to create another Detain, right? Like if we want to block something big and then kill it. There's just things we can do with that. All right, we also got our Mage Seeker Conservators to create some more random spells that cost a lot of mana. Fading Icon to do some blocking. Spirit Leech for some card advantage that can destroy the Conservator or Fading Icon. Uh, or like the O1 from that. We got Remembrance in here, of course, because it is a six mana spell, but then also if we uh, have like some fading icons and stuff die, it can, it can cost a lot less. And then we got Garen and Lux for our champions with Rekindler being able to bring them back. Uh, and also, we talked about this, that, that Viego, probably better than Garen, but, you know, Viego's lame. <laughs> it's really, really good. We're going to play Garen instead, because Garen's cool. So we're going to try playing some Garens. All right, anyway, that's going to be Stony Lux. Looks like a pretty interesting, fun, meme tier deck. Let's get to it. We're gonna go play our five games in normal. Yeah, so the Purify does that by silencing. Yeah, that's true. We have not seen a Lifesteal champion. I guess Victor can kind of be a Lifesteal champion, but it you gotta get lucky but it has the possibility to be another go hard deck looks like all right we're going old school go hard all right we're getting rid of purify but i think i like the rest even the box i think i like the box too because the box can get rid of like elise and some spiders i don't really want to second the box Petricide protect me nothing escapes my notice i guess that purify would be good against Commander Ledros. There's nothing to fear. If I'm forgotten, then no. I will find someone. We must all make sacrifices. All right, maybe we should have played Stony Suppressor first. Halt. You 
All right, what do we make? Spirit fire. Interesting. Do 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 do. do. Ooh. That could be a good card. Really difficult for us to protect Lux because we need we're gonna have to have six extra mana to protect Lux. Will you or are you that is not gonna be easy to have six extra mana to protect Lux. I wish I would have mulligan this the box. I shouldn't have had that in my shouldn't have had that in the opener. Um Hmm. Definitely considering detaining. I'm putting Stony Suppressor behind something else. I guess I'll just let it happen. Yeah, they have burned a lot of mana. But so have we. So now they only have 7 mana with Stony Suppressor, it's unlikely they can kill Lux right now, right? Because they probably need like a Vengeance or something like that. Alright, so I think Lux is safe. Stay safe, milady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Okay, so that's 2 mana, so now detain. Levels up Lux. Put an end to magic. This is some control games right here. That's not. You know, basically, I do that to level up blocks, so it's just not worth it. So we can kind of assume that they have, like, Ruination, and I guess they want me to play more things before they Ruination. Them out. I guess that's what's going on right now. Vengeancing, they're killing the Lux. I 
Yeah, they could just be killing the Mage Seeker Investigator right now. Hmm. Kind of want to play New Lux. We got some op we got a lot of options here of like how we want to do this. Yeah, we got a lot of a lot of options of what we want to do. I'll just re-detain again, I guess, like with the Lux over here. I was definitely considering like having my, because you could do some like neat tricks with detain stuff. I was thinking about having the Lux capture the investigator, so then the Lux levels up and we the investigator would come back, we'd get, we'd replace the detain. That's an option. my stony suppressors. Oh. That's how we do it. What's up, bipolar? Cool. Time any more time. Happy to have you back. I really wish I would have mulliganed this the box. Really wish I would have done that. Doing that to pressure their nexus. They will learn to fear the sun. Hmm. So two damage kills this Mage Seeker Investigator, which gives me another Lux. Which therefore gives me two of these. Okay. So what was going to happen there is I couldn't kill them with those two final sparks, but I could kill both of their units because uh, I could yeah I could final spark each one and it would leave the Vi at one health and then the uh, the Veraza at two health and so they would have both died to the Spirit Fire. But then that that Queen of Veraza got rid of like two more Vi's and so they're going to be out of Vi, kind of out of out of good cards. GG's. Wanna know? Alright, we got another cool deck here. Trundle, Aurelian Soul. Let's see what we got. 
Um, Mulligan at all? I don't know. I guess I'll keep a Garen. Keep Garen's Stony Suppressor. My thinking here is that they're going to be playing... Oh, I don't want that card at all. They're going to be playing, like, the 5-mana Landmark. I think this is, you know, like a Landmark deck. They'll have, like, the 5-mana Landmark, and then they will play their stuff for, like, free, and therefore the Stony Suppressor won't really do anything, but I'm still just kind of keeping Stony Suppressor. They play real big stuff. We are going to want to detain big stuff. They do have big stuff. Passage Unearned Pair, it's <laughs> it's a cheeky card. It's just... <laughs> okay, realistically it shouldn't be in the deck, but unrealistically it is... Uh, it's in here to pair with our Detains. So, like, whenever they get something back from a Detain, then we can Passage Unearned it. The best possible matchup for Passage Unearned, though, is going to be Turbo Thralls. That if you do randomly play against Turbo Thralls, it can be awesome. The trolls are going to war! Everywhere I go, the light follows. So we don't know what they made cost zero. Oh, it was the trundle that cost zero. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I thought I didn't realize that. My bad. Um I want to cast the box, because then that levels up. Lux. Maybe getting a Garen in play instead. I mean, they may not attack. They may not play. Like, I could definitely see them just passing here. Like, I think the most the most likely outcome is they pass. I think it's unlikely they play anything or attack. I don't think. Okay. Well, it wasn't a likely outcome. So I guess they want to clear up space. They want these things to die to Avalanche. Equinox. Why does it cost two? Shouldn't it just cost one? Why would this cost two? Oh, now it costs one. Weird. Okay, so it's only, yeah. It's supposed to cost one, and it said one. So my opponent probably thinks that Fielder Rush is pretty good. They're probably expecting it to be pretty good. Oh, no Spell Shield? Come 
Come on, spell shield affects passage unearned. <laughs> we got the animation. See ya. But now one mana final spark we don't get to play. Unless... Unless we're done with that stony suppressor. I think you did your job. A beacon through the dark. Okay, and these ice pillars cost eight, so they couldn't quite play them. All right, so they made something else cost zero, not either of those, because they do they do let you know if they make something cost zero. So they're gonna have something else cost zero that's really cool. Like she who wanders. With four or less power. That's so annoying because that rekindler has four or less power. Okay, okay. Um I think my plan is. For no one. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna be purifying this. So it doesn't have regen anymore. I can make it have six health, and then I go like that, then that. Or do I want to try to level up Garen? I can level up Garen. And they don't have that blocker. Okay, yeah. Alright, that's where we're going. We're killing this thing. So, I, yeah, basically I'm thinking, like, I could have my 4-1 fight the She Who Wanders and make that 6 health. And then I attack with both of these. They block both. I judgment. The first one does 5. The second one does 6. Hoping the 6, because of the level up, hoping the 6 hits the She Who Wanders. But Okay, so I attack, attack. They block Lux? Question mark. Garen. Oh, so the ice pillars are gone. I was thinking about like what I'm going to be doing like with the ice pillars and stuff. I guess those are gone. Oh no, I didn't keep me an open for passage returns. I guess I need to just pass and not attack. That was that was my big mistake was attacking. I should have passed. And just But then if I pass, they can just go back and attack me with the 10-10. I mean, I had to play the judgment. I don't I don't really regret playing the judgment cuz that judgment just turns into a, a yeah, like I had to play judgment there, but I had to not attack, I guess, and just see if they play that. All right, Zed. Yeah, we were real close. Yeah, and chat says, I think that the attack was fine. It's just unfortunate they just had the second field of rush. Yeah. Yep, because I had the answer for it too if I had three more mana.
It was a good match. Yep, fun match. They got me. GG's. Some people do this in normal of just like start games and just hope that you concede because they don't do anything. And they just try to farm XP. Like they're, I don't know, like working or whatever, but they'll just like start a game on normal and just see if the opponent concedes. To save time in their life. I don't expect them to, to ever play anything. So I don't expect us to keep this match. It looks like we'll still be one on one and go to the next game, probably. Will they get their daily loss XP also? See, I shouldn't have played anything. Once once you play something, then it kind of resets their timer for how much time they have. I shouldn't have played anything. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate that that kind of those kind of people exist. Scouts. All right, we got some scouts. Um, don't think I want Stony Suppressor against Scouts. Definitely don't want these two cards. I think I'm just gonna go Remembrance, and maybe we get like a the box. I think we're just gonna maybe like remembrance on three. Could play this icon first to try to make it more likely we get a radiant guardian. But even if we get a radiant guardian on three, we do have the spirit journey that can reset the radiant guardian. Okay, we'll definitely not play invading icon. Yeah, the box would definitely be good for this matchup. Which we haven't seen very much the box. A scout. I ran as fast as I could. No closer. Lame. So they had no elites in hand. I can't do anything about that. Could be something I passage unearned, but it's not easy to do. I need a champion. Aaron. I'll just purify that thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. I 
Garen, I needed you last round. Needed you last round. Looking for trouble? It found you. Five, six, seven. Man, and I'm at ten. For justice, for Demacia. I really need this last round because, like, this round because I want to because I could Spirit Journey plus Passage Under and completely take out. Grizzled Ranger, but they'd still get like the scout attack. Fear is the first of many foes. Man, this is just not good. Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is just over. Go down to one. The attack on round three and let the sharp sight trade was a big mistake. But even if I don't do that with the cards they had, we're not winning that game. They had enough cards to defeat us. No, we just we needed the box, but that's all right. I mean, we we're a mean tier deck for a reason, right? Like we're not going to be great against everything. We have like those ridiculous passage under, and you know, like we have some ridiculous cards in our deck. That's all right. Uh, maybe I should have kept Stony Suppressor. It's a possibility. Yep, we got Draven Ezreal over in normal. That'll happen. Hmm. Well, that didn't work out. Why are you casting that? They should pass 100%. I waste 4 mana if they pass, they waste 1 mana. Four mana on a culling strike. All right, so we have our detain purify combo. One shot, all skill.
Take five down to 12. I have to do this way because I can't block and then they, you know, miss a shot or get excited or whatever and I have to do it this way. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Gonna try to flock this. Four to a unit if it's damaged or a stun, but what if it's not damaged or stunned? Doesn't look damaged or stunned to me. So, I don't know why you would try to cast that on that card, because it's not damaged or stunned. Yes, their Ezreal is gone for good. Join me if you want to live. I'd rather save the single combat for like another Ezreal. And I'd like to do that, like Lux is 4 out of 6, I'd like to play single combat next and then, you know, maybe Remembrance afterwards. Something. Final spark in. Get that in before they kill the Lux. Which we could tell they were going to do. Wow. Gas game. I was going to be able to play the other Remembrance right there. Huh. Guess they didn't really have anything in hand. I guess. Wait, wait, are we two and two? All right, we got Lissandra and Swain. They're gonna do lots of little amounts of damage. Um, fading icons, not good against lots of little amounts of damage. I think we're two and two. Not two, not two and one. Take a look at this. Nothing escapes my notice. We lost to scouts and I think something else. So I don't think I have like a way to um, get rid of a landmark, do I? I don't think I do. I wonder what the deal is with the Spirit Fire. We've had two Mage Seeker Conservators die and they both create Spirit Fire. I wonder what the odds of that are. 
And I'm creating the exact same card. Whenever they can create anything that costs six plus mana in the entire game. That can't be good odds. does feel kind of nice having the Rekindler as a backup, so like if, if something does happen to the Lux right away, you don't have to really worry about it. The enemy. Man, I like that they're just passing and wasting all this mana. I think I'm just going to pass as well. What's up, Karen? Demacia. Hope everybody at home also yelled Demacia. Feel the power of true ice. Unfortunately, the new Lux is still zero. Um, unfortunate. those ice shards. So Swain leveled up now. I kill my Garens. Fire does get rid of the Wolf Rider. They just got three cards over there. Gross.
Okay, so they just have two cards. We got this Frozen Thrall. Will you comply, or are you complacent? Obliterate all followers. It's got to be an obliterate. And it's f it's only followers, unfortunately, with four or less power. So if I you know like you know like it's not gonna take out these things, basically. Um. <sighs> Justice waits for no one. Detain that, detain that, block that. Yeah, I think I think my best bet of winning this is hope they don't have a removal spell for Garen. Like, basically any kind of removal spell. Oh, this thing's about to level up. Gross. I think that's my best bet. Yeah, yeah, that was... I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, if I... If I would have known that that outcome would have happened. I, you know, I shouldn't have played the Mage Seer Conservator and then had two det two detains ready. Sure, that's fair. With the Purify. I am kind of hoping they don't. They can't kill Garen, right? I can detain two things. block right like I think that's it's kind of what I have right like so my other option just takes seven let the Swain hit me I think this is my I think this is my life right now it's not a great one So yeah, I basically, I, the last few rounds there got punished for like the different moves that I made, um, you know, continually playing Garen. I, I should have played some spells and leveled up the Lux, made some final sparks, killed Lissandra with final sparks. Right? Like I, sh I should have done that. I uh, should have gone that route more than, I, I kept slamming like Garen, Garen, Rekindler, like trying to get like that stuff out and, and then be able to go to the next round, but I could never go to the next round. It, they, my opponents just always had... Good removal, and um, I really need to make like some final sparks with Lux and stuff like that. So that's what I should have done. Um, took the wrong routes, but yeah, it was not you know just not really playing around uh, that ten ten basically. That was a big surprise, um, but just all the yeah that was a big surprise. Um, but all the ice shards and um, and then ways to kill large units. Uh, ended up doing pretty good for my opponents. All right, but there we go. That was Stony Lux. Got to do some cool stuff, though, with detains, like six-man detains doing stuff. But we saw like that there's definitely times like Passage Under and Purify. There's reasons why they're not played, right? Like, they're very, very situational cards. And sometimes you have, like, that last game where you have multiple Purifies stuck in hand, or we had another one where I had Passage Under and stuck in hand, and they're they're very... Uh, situational in that respect, but I liked the Stony Suppressor plus five mana spells. I thought that was actually that was pretty cool. I liked that quite a bit. Garen really did underperform, you know, just being like the five five regen. People were just going bigger than Garen. Um, probably would have been better to be just simply, yeah. I mean, it definitely would have been better to be playing Viego and then like the three mana Viego card and stuff like that. You know, play just all the Viego stuff. But I could see doing this, you know, like Stony Suppressor, Viego, Detains. You could probably do something like that. Spirit Leech was pretty meh. It was just, it's just hard to, to to enable Spirit Leech, but, you know, you kind of need some card advantage. Could go Glimpse Beyond, but we were thinking that maybe with the Suppressors, maybe having Spirit Leech instead. But, you know, maybe Glimpse Beyonds would have done a little bit better for us. There's a lot of different, you know, 
there's lots of playable cards in this kind of deck that you can you can tune this deck to be however you want. You know, like the best cards in these two regions are probably Sharp Sight. We didn't even have Sharp Sight in our deck. So you know Sharp Sight, Glimpse Beyond. There there are some great cards that we're not playing um, that you can if you want for this kind of deck too. So you you know just kind of figure out what you what you like. But I did like, but I have to say that I did like Stony Suppressor plus five mana spells with Lux. I thought that that, that was a pretty good uh, kind of combination with Lux there. All right, but that's going to be it here for Stony Lux. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments and let me know if you got other, if you got like good ideas for like tuning the list um, and things like that. You know, like maybe try these cards instead of these cards and stuff like that. I would always love hearing those kind of comments. But that's going to be it here for this deck, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.